Hi guys, it's Hannah at Heil Truck Lines. Today, Chris Jostin, our Esterville, Iowa terminal manager, is going to show you how to properly drop and hook up a loaded trailer. As always, be sure to click the button below to subscribe and like this video. So today we're gonna to talk about how to properly drop your trailer. First thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you're on a nice flat level surface and your truck and trailer's in a straight line. Make sure your truck is in neutral. Set your parking brakes, both these. Get out and let's go check the landing gear. Okay, now that we've set our brakes, we're going to come back here and we're going to lower our landing gear. Remember guys, anytime you're messing with the landing gear, make sure that you got your gloves on and you're in the proper position. You don't want to be the guy that has his finger on here and spinning it around like that. That's a good way to smack yourself in the face and lose a tooth, break your glasses, get a concussion, who knows? Now remember, these trailers have two gears. You have high gear and you have low gear. So anytime your landing gear is on the ground, you want to make sure you're using low gear Anytime your landing gear is up in the air like this, go ahead and use high gear. That way you can save yourself from getting an injury. So now what I want to do is I want to keep my face out of the way. I want to go ahead and I want to crank my landing gear down. You see how fast that landing gear is moving now? That's in high gear. If I were to pull this out, just like that and move it. See how slow that's moving? You can barely tell, huh? That's low gear. You only use that when the landing gear is on the ground. Let's put it back in high gear now. When we're dropping a trailer, we wanna make sure a landing gear stops about one inch, three quarters of an inch to one inch off the ground. So about right there. We're gonna hang up our handle. Now a good rule of thumb that I usually do just to make sure it's about right where I want it, I use my toe. See that? I know that there's no pressure on it, so when I drop it, it's not gonna be too high for the next person. So now I wanna go up here and I wanna go ahead and unhook my hoses. To me, I don't like to get dirty, right? So I usually start on the outside, work my way in, and when I'm rehooking it up, I start on the inside and work my way out. So I'm going to unhook this and uh, pull here. They got the handles here. So I want to go ahead and pull there, not here, because if you pull here, that pulls these wires loose. You don't want to do that. Then your lights are flickering. Use the handle, guys, just like that. We'll set that down and then finally pull off that one there. Then make sure you hang them up on the back of your cab over here. To make my life easy, I'm going to start with my trailer connector, my emergency line, then my service line. Now I'm going to climb up inside the cab and I'm going to flip my switch to release my fifth wheel and we're going to pull out from under this trailer. Let's go. Okay, now that I'm back in the cab, I want to flip my release switch for my fifth wheel. So I want to reach down here and I flip up this red cover and that shows you this switch underneath here. Now I want to press and hold that up for three seconds. Now it's going to show on your dash. So let's do that now. So now our kingpin is successfully released. So now that my kingpin is released, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and pull forward about six inches, then I'm gonna drop my air and let my landing gear settle on the ground until it's nice and firm. And I make sure that the trailer and the landing gear can support the weight of the load. Once I see that, I'm gonna pull all the way out and I'm gonna put the air back to my bags. Let's go through that now.
Now we're gonna talk about hooking up the trailer. First thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure we're the right height so we don't overshoot the fifth wheel plate and run our reefer unit into the back of the cab. That's a bad day for us, right? So I check here, I make sure that we're the right height and I'm not gonna overshoot. Okay, now I'm gonna climb back inside the truck and I'm gonna go ahead and back underneath this trailer and do a tug test. Remember, every time you hook up to a trailer, make sure you do a tug test and then a visual inspection on your fifth wheel to make sure the jaws are latched so you don't drop this trailer going down the road. Okay, now that I've backed under my trailer, first thing I wanna do is I wanna grab my trusty flashlight and I wanna shine it underneath here and I wanna make sure that my locking pin is engaged. That handle there needs to be all the way in and engaged. From here, I'm actually gonna climb underneath the trailer and I'm going to inspect to make sure that the jaws are closed all the way. Always do this every time, guys. Now that I've done that, Go ahead and shut my flashlight off and I'll raise my landing gear. Remember, landing gear on the ground, you want to be in low gear. To get this thing in low gear, we'll go ahead and pull that out. Now that it has started to come off the ground, I'm going to go ahead and put it in high gear. Notice I keep my face out of the way of the landing gear. Now that my landing gear is all the way up, I wanna go ahead and I wanna make sure my handle is locked. I wanna come up here and now I wanna go ahead and I wanna hook my hoses up. Okay, like I said earlier, I always start from the inside this keeps me from getting grease and stuff all over my arms and my hands. <clears throat> Make sure that one's fully locked. Make sure you're clean. There's no water or anything. Everything looks good. Inspect inside there. It looks good. You're fully seated. Finally, your emergency line. You are now good to go.